Hey guys! Oh my gosh, I'm literally a total lion today. It's fine. This is a look. Okay. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, Pat McGrath, Mother Pat, she came out with another release. The Eye Ecstasy Eyeshadow and Mascara Kit. So if you're interested in hearing my review and seeing this tutorial that I did, then just keep watching. It is always a great day when Pat McGrath releases something new to her line. She has the best quality products in the game, if you ask me. So anyways, the Eye Ecstasy Eyeshadow and Mascara Kit. So this is $48. It's available on Sephora.com. So right now is Rouge Early Access. So if you're a VIB Rouge, you can order this online right now. And it will be available to everybody else starting March 21st. This is limited edition, so this little kit isn't going going to be out forever. This is described to have a potent mini eye palette, a luxe loose pigment, and a hardcore dose of fetish eyes mascara that delivers the ultimate beauty high. But what I really need to know is who writes the description for Pat McGrath? Like, who comes up with this verbiage? They are brilliant. Like, listen to this. Tantalize with luxurious formulations designed to induce psychedelic pleasure. Provoke mind-altering creativity with a mini palette of six sensuous shadows that smooth glidely across the lids with a hallucinatory jolt of pleasure. Like, who comes up with this stuff? <laughs> okay, so let's just get into what comes in here because you probably want me to be quiet. So you're gonna get it in her cute little package with the little glitters in it. I secretly keep the glitters and use them up for my product shots. <laughs> so I wish she kind of came up with a new color because I definitely already had gold, but I'm a weirdo, so that doesn't really apply to most of you probably. But in it, you're getting a little mini fetish eyes mascara. She actually just came out with this mascara. This is a new release, but I didn't pick it up and I'm so happy that I didn't because... Oh. I'm so happy I didn't pick it up because, I mean, here it is right now. And then you get a little angel dust loose pigment, which is one gram. And then finally, you get a cute little eyeshadow palette. So it comes with this beautiful sleeve over of beautiful artwork. You know, this is all about the experience with Pat McGrath. And then you open it up and you have the Pat McGrath. It's pretty cheap packaging. It's not like her normal luxurious crazy packaging. You have a really cool sleeve over it, but under here, like this is really basic, kind of cheap packaging. And then you open it up. You do have a mirror in this, which is really, really nice. And then of course you have six shades. So you have a luminous platinum champagne, a velvet sienna brown, a deep bronzed rose metallic, a creamy blackened gray, and a metallic rose taupe, and finally a gleaming antique gold. No, I didn't make up this description by myself. That is what it says online. And as you can see from the swatches, they swatched so pigmented. There's so much opacity on these swatches. You cannot see the skin underneath at all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. And then right now I am adding the Angel Dust Loose Pigment, which is almost a super subtle sheer bronze color with really holographic glitters on top. The strongest shift I notice is a lilac-y pink shift in it, but I will get into that in a second. First things first, I know we're all curious, how big is this palette, or how small should I say? So here is one of her regular size six pan palettes. So as you can see, it is much, much smaller than her regular six pan palettes. And here we have a pan size comparison. As you can see, the pan size is significantly smaller than the regular pan size. So let's just go over the finishes in here. You are getting two mattes and four metallic slash shimmery shades. As you can see, there is no glitter formula in here. And if you watch any of my other Pat McGrath videos, you know that is my all-time favorite formula. I didn't expect that formula to be in here, but you do have her beautiful metallic formula in here, which is just phenomenal. So obviously this palette is quite subdued. It's very great for every day. She definitely just picked good usable colors that everybody's going to like, but I am just going to say this first and foremost. If you're like me, you're a Pat McGrath junkie and you have a bunch of her other eyeshadows, you don't need this. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest, you don't. I think that if you want to try a Pat McGrath formula for a much more affordable price, I mean, this is the way to go because these do match up with her regular quality. They are phenomenal. A color that I felt was missing in here was a lighter transition shade, but honestly, this shade goes on like butter and 
it is quite buildable as well so if you use a really light hand it works just fine as a transition shade this matte black is pretty good here as well it's more of a gray it's not completely black black I think this isn't really good to line with I did struggle with this look to line my eyes because I tried and I don't know it just wasn't my favorite it was a little bit more crumbly but it still is a nice black and this is really perfect for deepening your outer corner so not my favorite black in the world um she also has better blacks in her other palettes but I mean it does its job I did actually apply these shades beforehand before I did this look just so you can see how they applied so I of course started off with this as my transition color and as you can see it just blended absolutely beautifully I tried this shade right here this shade cannot be applied with a brush it's super creamy to the touch and very pigmented but it almost needs the warmth of your finger to really spread it out it just doesn't pick up on any bristles the texture the oils the warmth of your finger that's going to spread it on your lid cause it to stick better this isn't my favorite shade just because I feel like shadow should be able to be put on with a brush or your finger not one or the other but it is still beautiful this lovely plum shade is absolutely gorgeous it is not crazily pigmented to where it's intimidating and this is going to be a beautiful smoky eye uh, it's very very easy to work with of course I do recommend applying this with a finger but it is so beautiful uh, you do have a lighter shade right here buttery smooth works with a brush works with your finger works wet this is a beautiful shade a great addition to the palette it has an underlying gold to it and I really do like it you have this antique gold and this is probably the best quality shade in this palette I always talk about it but there's just some shades when you swatch them they run all the way down your arm this is one of those I didn't do a super good swatch but this is one of those Pat McGrath has a way with golds she has the best gold formula in the world I will make a big statement like that and I'm so happy she decided to add this in <sighs> the formula man so as I stated before about this palette um, if you're looking to get this eyeshadow palette because you are a Pat McGrath eyeshadow fan and you already have her shades <laughs> don't get this. I wouldn't worry too much about picking this up. You do have these shades or similar shades in her big palettes, but this all together is a good put together palette. So I will say if you do travel a lot, like I do not travel with my Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes because God forbid something happened to them and they shattered. Like that's not happening. They only stay in the house. So this is a good way to take your Pat McGrath formula with you to travel. And you guys know her eyeshadow palettes aren't too tiny and portable. So this is a perfect way to get that formula on the go. So I will say that. And also, if you haven't been ready to shell out the 125 for her other big palettes, this is a great way to get introduced to her formula. Um, even better than her six pan palettes. This is even better because you get other stuff from her brand. Overall, I definitely rank this palette 10 out of 10 quality wise. I just, you know, it's not the most exciting palette, but it's a good palette and you can't deny that. All right, so next let's get into the Angel Dust Crystalline Prismatic Pigment. So this is really tiny. You only get one gram. So let me just talk about the packaging of this really fast. I find it pretty hard to get the product out. I kind of have to like slam my hand against it to get anything in the cap. Now, this shade is so holographic, I can't even describe what shade this is. The base isn't clear, it has a slight bronze tone to it. In it, there's flecks of gold and green and pink. It is just such a unique color. This is what's on my lid right now. So it pulls very pink, if you ask me, but it is gorgeous. If you apply just a small amount, you can just get slight flex slight glitter or if you put a glitter glue on your lid and really pack it on you can get more of that colorful effect I know my hands disgusting but as you can see this has more of a pigmented color to it but you can spread it out and it just becomes the most gorgeous crystallized sheer glitter so you actually have a lot of control with this glitter which I really really like now if you're curious about like the finish of it and the texture of it if you do have the regular Pat McGrath palettes her glitter formulas that she has this is very reminiscent of this just a little bit more glittery because it is a loose glitter but essentially on the lids you get almost the same effect so it's that super fine crystallized glitter that is so beautiful and so holographic just in a pot basically okay and mascara I'm just gonna do a quick disclaimer on mascara I've said this before but I'm not qualified 
to review mascaras. I have no eyelashes. They are super short and tiny, uh, but I will say from using this, I do like it. I would check out somebody else's video to get a more reliable <laughs> opinion because no mascara really looks good on me, if you ask me. Now, you do open it. This is the kind of brush it is. It is such a black, black, black mascara. It builds very well with layers. It actually voluminized my lower lashes pretty well, which is a hard thing to do. And it made my eyelashes look very, very thick. I don't notice too, too much in the lengthening department. But like I said, I don't really know. It's a mascara. I think it's good. From what I can tell, it's a good mascara because it did something to my eyelashes. But I couldn't tell you if it was great or not. I mean, I still have short, stubby lashes. So, no mascara can fix that. Really quickly, I'm going to go into the tutorial of how I got this look. All right, so I started off with this brown shade right here and I used a Wayne Goss number 16. I did have some tape down to kind of guide me through the black eyeliner that I was gonna put down. That ended up being really dumb, but the show must go on. So I actually focused that really on the outer corner of my eyelid and then blended. And I want you to see from this demo how buttery smooth this color blends. It is such a buildable color as well, so you can get a light transition shade with it as well as a deep crease shade which I love the shade is beautiful and then I went in with the black on a angled eyeliner brush and I was struggling with this method I just found the black to be a bit too crumbly for this specific technique I just wasn't too crazy about it I was going for a bit of a smoky eyed liner and it just wasn't working for me I wasn't doing it right and I think it's user error but that's just not one of my favorite techniques so spoiler alert I did go in with some black eyeliner over top because I just wasn't feeling it but I did put it on my lower lash line as well and I mean it looks really good it is a good black it is I just didn't use it in the best way and with the best brush so I took the tape off I kind of fixed things to how I wanted to fix them and then of course I wanted to have a segment showing you this pigment on its own so that's why I included those earlier clips of me playing with the other lid shades uh, so that I could just really create a look with the pigment standing out on its own. Now I did use a glitter glue. I just think that's the best way to do it. It's going to minimize fallout throughout the day. And since my lid was clean, I wanted the purest amount of pigment to show up on my lid as possible. So I just used the Too Faced glitter glue, patted that on my lid, and then I patted my finger into the pigment and I just patted that on top. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. I'm so obsessed with this glitter. Like, oh, she's so beautiful and holographic and I like that sheer base. I really, really do. I didn't show this on camera, but I do have this light gold on my inner corner. Um, and then of course we went in with the Fetish Eyes Mascara just so I could show you. I don't know, I applied it as people normally apply mascara. I went ahead and applied a second coat as well and this is what we're working with. You really can't tell much of a difference with the mascara, but like I said, I think it's a good mascara. Okay, yeah, so that's how I got this look. This collection as a whole, do you need it? Is it worth it? So I actually took the time to do the mask um, taking the size of each product compared to the full-size products and the $125 product and listen to this so you would think that this isn't a better value but it actually is now I'm not going to do the math and show you all of that I find that to be very boring if you're that curious you can do the math yourself but if my math is correct and I am no mathematician so so maybe you should do the math. Based on the math that I did, this is actually a little bit of a better value than buying the full-size items, so. So quality-wise, everything in here, top-notch, as I expected it to be. I don't care if it's a mini size, I expected Pat McGrath to put everything on the table. So if you're just getting this for the palette and you already have Pat McGrath stuff, you don't need this, but you know, if you did want a more portable version of the Pat McGrath formula, this is a good way to go. And also the colors in here are just super wearable and super pretty. Um, and then if you do want a little pizzazz to your look, you do have a glitter pigment and the mascara is good. I'm always down for a good mini sized mascara because you can only wear mascaras for like three months before they go bad. So this is like the perfect size mascara. If you're not looking to spend a lot of money and you want to try out the Pat McGrath, formula and some other products from her line yes this is such a good deal such a good way to experience her products you need to try her glitter formula it is the best in the game i feel bad i can't really rave about this 
mascara. I don't have a right to, but you get a cool mascara <laughs> and a great little travel size palette. I mean, this is all you need for your eyes, really, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of liner and some extra fake lashes if you're like me. And you really have everything for any time of day, really. This brings me to my final point. For somebody like me who has all of her palettes, who doesn't care about mascara, I most definitely did not need this. I mean, and that's that. I didn't need it. If you are in the same position as me, you don't need it either. I'm telling you that right now. I'm going to put the pressure on you. It's up to you whether or not you need it. The quality is good. It just, is it something you want and you're interested? And do you really need it? You ask yourself that. I can't tell you. I'm a bad influence. I will tell you to buy it anyways. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Make sure you subscribe so that I can update you later on in another video how this stuff is going for me. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!